Hi friends, welcome to my channel. As you might know, it is my dream to be an entertainer. So if you are at all entertained by this video, please like it and consider subscribing for more content. Today we are doing a Trolls um, blind bag opening yet again. And this one has an added benefit of a DIY bracelet. Did I say benefit? I don't know who's benefit <laughs> benefiting from this. But anyway, before we begin, let's leave our troubles at the door by rolling our neck from side to side. I always like to keep my eyes closed when I'm doing this. I'm rolling my shoulders about five times, front and back. And really just connect with your body and see if there's anywhere that needs extra love. I am getting over a sunburn, so I am itchy. <laughs> and now let's take a, a grounding breath by inhaling, hold, and release on an audible sigh. <sighs> awesome. Okay, so once again, I am going to let it play out unless I have something useful to say. Otherwise, this is just kind of um, retention for posterity for my sake. Um, if you have any questions, I would love to answer them. Just leave them below in the comments. And if I get enough, I'll make a video. Otherwise, I will be sure to answer you in the comments. And yeah, so this is actually the second to last video that I have of my time as Princess Pickles or Pickleina the Pickle Fairy on Princess Pickles, that channel. Um, and uh, this one's the last one that was really like, this is what... Uh, the kids channel was like the other one is again a little crafting i've started getting into the craft videos which we really didn't stay in that area for too long so you can kind of see how it's evolving um and how it's more story driven i always try to be a little bit more story driven with these things and uh so yeah let's just enjoy it Okay, and then just kind of highlighting again how I'm very descriptive when you open these. Um, you always, that's kind of 101 of, of kids YouTube was you always had to describe what you were seeing in detail, uh, helping little kids notice things, I guess. I'm not exactly sure. We just kind of, you always have to be very excitable and keep the kids um, entertained. Uh, a little behind the scenes, it's always interesting to try to do um, like background and stuff for these characters. So obviously they're in a forest. Um, this is for like their trolls, like they're, they're at home. And so um, it was, you know, it's kind of hard how to you, how do you do that when you're just on a table so um the the craft stores have great i guess it's for scrapbooking but um i i went ham with with those um also in the in the dull uh series as well because it was just it's easier to kind of show what the background is supposed to be in a relatively cheap way and she also comes with a paintbrush and a little palette to paint with Cute. Thanks so much for letting me out of that packaging, Piccolina. Oh, it was my pleasure, Harper. What happened? Oh, nothing. I was just doing an art project and it kind of backfired. <laughs> but I noticed you're wearing the hug tie bracelet. Oh, yeah, right here. It is super. <laughs> Sorry, I was like waiting for a break because I know I keep breaking in between sentences, but um, she was doing an art project. I guess it's. That's one way to explain how you were a toy and a thing and a packaging, but I'm just like, what kind of art 
piece. Is she one of those people who stands like on the sidewalk and is like, you know, for $5, you can move my arms. Like, I feel like uh, this is an experiment that should have had guidance. <laughs> Make sure she's doing okay. Super cute. <laughs> I just love how it looks like a flower. It is so comfy and happy. And I was wondering, maybe you guys would like to learn how to make your own hug time bracelet. <gasps> so I actually have two comments on this. So the first one is that thing was huge on me and I'm an adult. I can't imagine a child wearing that. Um, it was so bulky and I remember it hard, hard to work with. Also, it just says hug time. Like, I don't think there was actually a watch concept with it. So it, it's just weird. Obviously, it's just for playtime, but um, it's a little, it was a little little clunky for what it was. Uh, but also I really love, this is actually what I've decided to kind of incorporate in this channel. You'll see, so I'm making my own hug time bracelet for the kids here. I love doing that kind of stuff. And so that actually is what I'm doing now on Cypress. Obviously I'm doing kits and stuff and I really want to get into more crafts and like trying like hacks and stuff. Um, but I realized that I love pop culture and I'm, I'm, forever a cosplayer for better or worse. And so I love making accessories and stuff. So I'm going to be starting to do that. Um, you can see my first video of the Jacob's Ladder is up. That was like a test run from a few years ago. So, um, so it's really fun to see uh, that this is, it's kind of always, always been a part of me. And I just had to uh, really accept that to, to try to try to push it. So I'm, I'm excited for, for where this channel is going and, and where it came from. Oh yeah, that'd be so fun. Thanks, Harper. What do we need? Oh, I can help you with that. So all you'll need is some felt, a button, and either hot glue, or you can use thread if you know how to sew. It would also really be helpful to have scissors or something you can cut with, and a writing utensil, although you don't really need it. All right, so first take your felt, and measure it around your wrist to see how much you need. All right, and if you're not going to sew on a snap or Velcro, you'll wanna leave enough room so that when you hot glue it, it can still come off. Now use your other felt to cut out two flowers. You'll wanna cut out one that's slightly larger than the other, and you can have as many as you want, really. All right, determine how big the flower you want based on the button. Now cut out a slightly larger flower. Now line them up so that you can see them overlapping and glue them together. Find the center of the stress the flower on too. I just want to say, I'm not trying to give myself props. I'm trying to like make a point here that, um, so I'm talking very simply, you know, these are very simple instructions and I don't know how many kids could actually use hot glue or how many would even know how to sew, but I'm not dumbing down. This is actually like a tutorial that you can follow. Um, and I think kids could get it. I think, I think people can understand this. So whether, you know, the craft itself is, is good or bad, I just, I really don't like when kids YouTube or, and it's not just YouTube, actually, it's, it's like TV shows and stuff too. You don't have to dumb things down, obviously use smaller words or explain things a little bit more thoroughly. So it's more simplified in that sense, but you don't have to be condescending. Kids can understand, you know? And, um, I, I mean, I got good feedback. Then again, everyone, everyone loved the channel anyway, before I got there. So, you know, but, uh, I don't know. I, I still think that um, there's something to be said for giving children credit. <laughs> now add the button to finish it off. Now if you don't have any snaps or Velcro, line up the back. Make sure you have enough space to easily slip it off and glue it in place. And there you have it. Your own hug time. I love that you can see that the glue was on my finger. I also want to say I probably would have done snaps or Velcro, but I didn't have any and I didn't want to run out. Um, a lot of the stuff is like things that you are, you know, 
either I already had or like that I ran out knowing that I was going to do something but didn't know the details of whatever. I kind of figured it out as I went along and pretended. So it was very, it is very tutorial-esque. Uh, I, I don't know, um, again, uh, talking about my channel, um, how I'm going to do things, but, um, but yeah, so... I wouldn't necessarily recommend hot glue. Then again, I think this is still easier to play with than the official one that they gave us. So, oh, not gave us. We had, gave us with money. <laughs> I'm bracelet. Wow, thanks so much, Harper. It is super cute. And there you have it. A super easy way to make your own hook tie bracelet. And with a little bit of an imagination, it too can be... Oh, wait. Thanks. What? I thought it said it's hug time or something, but I can't remember what incoming. Did she say incoming for an incoming hug? I don't know what that toy said, but whatever. Hi, Diamond. Seven Inch Nail, thank you for coming. Would you please check on the decorations one more time? I just want to make sure everything's right. Yep. Yeah. You. And I don't know. Maybe I'm a nerd. I like attention to detail, so obviously. Those two toys uh, were, were separate, but they're supposed to be connected in the movie. They're connected by their hair, which is also a really interesting concept. Um, so I just used tape to get them to stay together. Got it. Thank you guys so much. Oh. Stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. What's going on, you guys? Oh, hi, Piccolina. Well, now that we're friends with the Bergens, the trolls are ready to expand. But Poppy's worried that we're not ready for the extra trolls. Oh, I'm sure you guys are fine. Did you make a checklist? That always helps me. Yeah, I made a checklist and I checked it twice. Well, good. I think you guys are fine. Well, I hope so because it looks like they're coming. <gasps> oh, no. Look, you guys. We have blind bags for the extra trolls that are coming to live with Poppy and Branch and the others. <gasps> Let's see what's inside. Oh, I love these little guys. Just another little tidbit or whatever. I did watch um, the trolls. I watched a lot of these things uh, that like we, you know, My Little Pony, that kind of stuff that we were playing with. And uh, I would have watched it anyway because Phil Harbour and I, we just kind of like that stuff, you know, like just because it's animated doesn't mean that it's for kids. And just because it's for kids doesn't mean it can't be good content. At least you would hope that people would want to be, you know, take pride in what they do. So, um, so I always watched it, but um, there is a huge difference because I remember what I did, which I don't, I don't have any recorded, but the LOL dolls. And I didn't know what they were, so I called them LOL because that's how people usually said LOL out loud. And, or at least around my, you know, if, if people even said it, it was a texting thing. And, um, you know, the little kids were like, it's LOL, you don't say LOL. <laughs> anyway, but, um, but there wasn't that connection there. But watching the movie and knowing the characters, knowing the storyline, I think it helps when you interact with the character, you know, with the things. So even though I'm not a huge fan of the trolls, it was a decent enough movie. And I did watch the second one. Um, but like, I don't know, like, I feel like it, you have to know your content if you're putting stuff out there to make it good content. Otherwise, you're just kind of, which, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. <laughs> right, I'm going to cut just the top because I'm afraid of cutting their hair. They do have a lot of it. Oh, he looks like a yellow creep. Look at his pants. And he's not wearing his shirt. <laughs> and he's did I say he looks like a yellow creep? It must have, creep maybe? It must have been a character's name that I can't remember now because it's been a few years. That's really weird. And I also want to say, I think I do remember I added a craft because we only had like a few leftover trolls uh, blind bag toys. And so um, trying to make it, uh, you know, 10 minutes, I think I had to add something. So I think that is why. Um, yeah, I also just tried to to do something original because I hated, that was one thing I hated copying just because it was trending. Uh, it worked for views, but it was, it was, you know, kind of difficult as a content creator to be like, okay, you're stealing their idea, you know, but it's, I mean, opening toys, what kind of ideas? So this, this was an original idea um, of, at least I think, you know, I'm sure other people have done it, but I didn't like watch something and be like, okay, we're going to do this now, you know, so got a bright red nose with hot pink hair. <laughs> All right, time for the other one. Let's open that up. And let's see what we got. <gasps> it's Cloud Guy! <laughs> I think his name is J. 
just Cloud, right? Or Cloud Guy? He is so funny in the movie. Would you high five him? <laughs> so funny. Alright, and let's see who else we got. Maybe we can complete our set. Let's see. Oh, it's the little orange one with blue hair. You know, I looked and looked. I can't find her name. Does anyone know what this little troll's name is? She is absolutely adorable. But I don't think she's a character from the movie. There we go. Woo, let's get everyone together. you guys for making this your new home. Except you. What are you doing here? Branch, don't be rude. Oh no! What's wrong, Poppy? Oh, Piccolina, I just realized I don't think we have enough houses for these two. Oh no! Well, you know what? I have... Didn't they do... She did a checklist and she checked it twice? How does she not realize there's enough houses? <laughs> um, anyway, I... Again, if you know your content, you can you can improv some jokes and stuff. So obviously it wasn't planned to have Cloud Guy, um, but there he is. <laughs> Just the idea. Oh yeah, what? I saw a tutorial on how to use an old soda bottle to make a birdhouse. And I think if we scale it down, it would be a great... Okay, so clearly I have these out of order. Um, so I am about to make the thing that I used in a previous video um, that <clears throat> you'll you should recognize if you've if you've watched my stuff so <laughs> um, yeah clearly we did not have enough troll dolls to make a video I don't know if I needed them for something um, or we just were cleaning out so it's like well let me make a video with it real quick um, I unfortunately can't remember the story behind this of was I trying to do, because I know I was trying to do more crafts anyway, um, just kind of spread the imagination. Uh, so it's it, it's interesting and unfortunately I don't remember. Oh. All right, well, let's get to it. Now for a bird feeder, you probably want like a two liter, but since we're just making it for trolls, I am just doing the normal bottle that you can get when you're in line. And I washed it out. There's still some bubbles in here, but do not worry, we can get those out in just a minute. So get an adult to help, and you're gonna wanna cut off the very top using either scissors, or I find it easier to use an X-Acto knife. On the top part, you wanna cut some little round designs in it. You don't have to do this, but it just makes it look like a cuter home. There we go, you can see it has little divots in it, and now we can go ahead and dry it out. Now if you want to hang this um, from like a tree or something, you're going to want to cut a hole in the center and make it large enough so that you can put a piece of thread or yarn through it. Bottom, you're going to want to cut probably this top one off, so you just... Now, I can't remember if I... I probably did look up a how to do like a birdhouse type of a thing. Um, so no one, I don't think anyone ever made a troll's house because that's not a thing really. But because um, I said use a two liter and stuff. So I think I'm probably following a different guide of like how to make a at home bird feeder. Um, I just want to say again, I'm glad that I am showing it because like the five minute crafts, granted half of those are like fake anyway. But um it's 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 interesting to see that it actually is working. That what I'm telling you to do, I'm actually doing. Uh, at least I find that interesting. I don't know if anyone else does. <laughs> These last four, just where it kind of pivots in. Okay, and now you want the top part to cover over the bottom. Now we're going to cut in a little hole for the troll to go in as a door. The top part to be glued on, and I'm cutting off two of these rows. And again, be very careful. You ask an adult if you're going to use anything sharp. I said that twice to make sure no littles were injured in the making of this. <laughs> and now I'm going to paint them lilac, and the bottom I'm going to paint this light aquamarine, which is called Laguna. 
open and now I there it is again, the Laguna. Where is that from? I guess maybe I was like, ooh, this is called Laguna and I like this color. I guess that's how it happened. I don't know the story behind Laguna, but I say the word like in a lot of these videos. I painted them, it took maybe about two coats. Because I am using this for a troll, I actually colored the inside so that it would be um, a little bit darker. But if you're going to be using this as a bird feeder, you probably don't want to color on the inside because you don't want the birds to get sick. Now you'll have glue the top to the bottom. I'm glad I was worried about the bird's health because I was like, I, I don't even know that a bird would use this. Like, is there enough ventilation? I guess the the opening is, is okay, but... um. Anyway, it's also funny that there's two coats on that. You can still see when it, that <laughs> drink expired. <laughs> I think that's what that is. I don't know. And it is ready for final design. as like a craft like I wouldn't put this out and like decorate my house but in terms of like playing and imagination and stuff like that I think it's a pretty decent looking house and um you know considering like that like you're just playing now granted the the sharp edges you know I don't want little fingers getting hurt and stuff um so probably I don't know maybe glue around it to make it a little bit rubbery um it's actually like slight <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> slide things in and out and everything. But um, I don't know, I, I really like the idea of, of adding to, to your play. I remember when I was little and I used like stacks of books to pretend like they were mountains for my little guys and stuff. So it's just kind of bringing that back because I don't know now that everything is like toys or, you know, toy companies are making these type of toys, uh, you know, so like you could automatically have a house or mountains and stuff. You don't have to pretend anymore. And so kind of bringing that creativity back, I think is, is important because I think you learn a lot of skills as a child that you can use as an adult. <laughs> Selena and everyone, come on you guys, let me show you your home. Uh-huh, very nice. Yay, they like it! Oh, I'm so relieved that everything went off without a hitch. Yeah, I knew it would work out. And, uh... Is that really the saying, off without a hitch? I guess, like a hiccupy thing. Anyway, um... I don't know that those two trolls know each other, but now they have a house. I guess they're roommates. It's bigger on the inside. It's like that Harry Potter tent. You can go now. Ranch stop. Thank you guys so much for watching and helping us build our little troll home. Let me know down in the comments below who is your favorite troll character. Doesn't have to be from the movies. Who's your favorite toy? All right, so I think that was kind of cute. It was short and sweet. There are two crafts in that one, so it kind of filled in. Uh, I always like seeing people make stuff, so... Um, you know, I don't, I don't know that kids liked it either, but if it's, you know, tr trying again, try it's that's weird balance of trying to be, um, entertaining. Oh, now I have head, <laughs> um, but then also like, uh, you know, actually good, you know, good, good content and stuff too. You don't want to just scream at the kids, which people do, but, um, so I think that was fun and just adding the personality of the characters in there, I think is uh, adds to it. So, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if not, don't worry, we're getting towards the end of these and, uh, but I just, I'm loving, uh, you know, revisiting the past and just reminding myself and remembering, um, my day-to-day -day back then and all the people I worked with who I still keep in touch with today. So I'm very, very blessed. It was a very fun time in my life. But anyway, remember that you are loved, you are worthy, and whatever you are, really loud crow out there, whatever you are struggling with right now will pass. Until next time, 
stay crazy.